Hello, this is David with songwritersmarketplace.com. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up a hosting account at bluehost.com. Now, before you can continue with this particular tutorial, you should have a domain name registered. And if you don't already, you can go to our tutorials link at songwritersmarketplace.com and watch two short tutorials. One, how to register a domain name on GoDaddy and how to point your domain name name servers from GoDaddy to Bluehost. And once you've done that, you'll be ready to proceed with setting up an account at Bluehost.com. Now the first thing we need to do naturally is get over to Bluehost.com. You can use the link that's provided at the bottom of this tutorial video that you can click on and get over there. Um, you can actually go over to our resources page if you're on the site already. This is a page where we recommend resources that we use that work for us that we feel would be a good resource for you to use if you have a need for what that particular item does. In this case, right at the top of our list, we do recommend Bluehost. That's where we host our site. I host all my domains, um, or my websites rather, on Bluehost. And I've been with them for several years. I'm happy. Uh, they're up and functioning. Our sites are up and running 99, as they say, 99.9% .9 of the time and running smooth. Also, if you need support for one reason or another, you have a question, their support staff is second to none. They uh, are open 24 hours a day. You can call them anytime, day or night, with a problem or a question, and they will be there live and answer your questions, take care of what you need done. Yeah, they're great. Anyway, uh, from the resource page, you can see at the top, Bluehost, you can just click on Learn More or click on the icon, Bluehost. It'll get you over to their website. Once you're at Bluehost, here's the landing page. It's actually their home page. And you'll see it says, well, the uh, slider just switched on me, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. But they have a, uh, a deal going where it says $5.99 slashed out. It's $3.95 a month. That $3.95 is actually if you get uh, 36, a 36-month 36 subscription. Uh, which means you'll have to pay three ninety five times thirty six months up front to get that three ninety five If you just go with the twelve month plan that you pay twelve months in advance, it says five ninety nine here I believe it's five ninety five so you're looking at about whatever that is uh five ninety five times twelve I think that's around seventy seventy two dollars somewhere in there. Um, but that's probably the plan you're going to want to go with. But we'll go down here right now and click on Get Started Now. And here they're going to list for you the plans. And I would recommend, if you're just starting out, that you go with the starter plan. And it, once again, it says $3.95 a month, but you'll see when we progress to the next page uh, how they price that. Uh, if you are ready to do more right now, you're more ambitious, you have something going already, you're adding a second or third website, and you're switching over to, to Bluehost, you might want to start with the, uh, with the Plus plan. But basically, the starter plan is great for anyone just getting going. It gives you all you need, and you can always update at any time when you need more resources, then you just upgrade. It's not, it's not a big problem. It's easy to do, and they'll assist you in, over at Bluehost to do that. Uh, with the starter plan, you're going to be able to have one website, 100 gigabytes of website space, your unlimited bandwidth, and you have one domain name included, and the rest of these items here, which are all plenty for what your purpose is to get started. So we're going to go ahead and select Starter Plan. Now, the second page it comes to will ask you 
if you don't have a domain, now dom uh, Bluehost will give you a free domain with your sign up. You'll have to be sure that it's available. If you put it in this box right here, it won't go through if it's not available. It'll tell you, and you have to keep trying. I would suggest that you go and do a search on a site such as GoDaddy where you can search your domain names, make sure they're available first. If you choose to come here and register your domain name, like I said, it will be included as, as free with your domain as long as you're uh, signing up with Bluehost. If you already have a domain name, then you want to come over to this box. And if you watched in my previous video, I did register a new domain. And I can type that in here if I can remember what it was. <laughs> I think it was viewndo.com. Once you have that in there, simply click on Next. Now, sign up. Congratulations. That means my domain, viewndo.com, is registered with me. No problems. And they're saying congratulations. Now is the point where you have to put in your account information, your name, your address, phone number, email, everything that's required. And down here is where I was talking about earlier what account plan you're going to go on. The starter 36 month price is $3.95 a month, which you can get that price. But you have to get 36 months. If you want only 12 months, you'll have to go back up on this drop down to 595 starter 12 month plan. And they also have in here a site backup pro. Now, if you're using WordPress, which is what we're going with and what we recommend if you're building your, your musician or band website, uh, the WordPress comes with plugins that you can add to it that will do automatic backup for you. And that's what I use. I found that sufficient. It's always worked well for me. But, you know, Bluehost does have a backup where they run every every three, four days, I think it is, at least minimally once a week. And if you ever have a problem, they can go back and reload your database uh, so you won't lose your whole site. It'll, you may lose a few things that have been added in those couple days before they backed up once, but they, they still have, will have a backup uh, on their server for you. So I would recommend at this point, you could just uncheck that $1.99 additional fee. Down here, they have site lock security. There again, you don't really need to add this. Bluehost probably likes you to have that. It adds extra security to their site. You're going to be shared on a shared server with several other websites. And if anybody ever tries to attack that server for one reason or another, why people do that is beyond me. But it happens. Uh, it's additional security that Bluehost likes to have there, and it would be good for you to have. But you really don't need that um, up front. You, uh, I would say you could do without it for right now. You could decide to keep it or uh, go with it at a later date. But I would suggest you could un unclick that right now and just go with your basic 12-month price, $5.95 a month. Then at the bottom is where you put in your billing information. Now, once you have that all complete, then we can proceed to the next section. Okay, now that we have the form all completed, we are ready to progress to the next step. So we'll simply go down here to the bottom of the page and click Next. Okay, on this page, they're going to um, ask you to select the upgrades that best suit your needs. I would say at this point, you are not going to select any of the upgrades. Just simply go down to the bottom of the page where it says additional upgrade total zero. Uh, want to pass on these products for the time being. Click here or just complete over here. And there you get the welcome page. Welcome to Bluehost. Congratulations. Your purchase was successful. And they will send you a confirmation email to the uh, email that you supplied in your registration on the payment page. Now down here, they're asking you to choose a password for your account. Create your password. 
Now on this page, we're going to create our password. Uh, you'll have to check this box to confirm that you have read and agreed to the terms of service, cancellation policy, privacy statement, domain registration agreement, and registering rights and responsibilities. Okay. I know you're going to read and study all that and make sure you know it inside and out. So you just click that box. Uh, then enter your new password in here. Okay, I've re-entered a new password, and I have 100. Excellent. So that's great. Hopefully yours will do the same. So now we're going to log in to our new hosting account. So you come down here, you see the top field. We'll have your domain name there. And you want to enter, as it says, password in here. That's the password you just created. So go ahead and enter that. And go ahead and submit. Now, hopefully, you've logged successfully into your Bluehost account, and you should see this welcome page come up. Now, if you look on the left side over here, it'll say Get Started with Help or Resources. I can do it. That means you. Or our team will help you get started. If you prefer, you can click here and say Do It For Me. Um, not 100% sure, but there's probably a fee involved in there. Uh, well, let's click and see. There you go. Okay, we'll go back. So if you don't want to pay, which is a quick start, $29.99, transfer $99.99, or if you want help with your design on your website, $49.99. Well, we don't want any of that, I don't think. So we're going to just go ahead and click on I Can Do It. And then it's going to give you some resources that you can use uh, to help you along, understand uh, how to find your way around their admin area in your account on Bluehost. So the next tutorial that we'll be doing, we'll be logging back in to Bluehost. You'll be logging into your account. And we will be going over this area right here. How to set up your WordPress site and get your, uh, get your website up and running. So, till next time, I hope this has been good information for you once again. You've learned a thing or two. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. This is David at songwritersmarketplace.com.